But Huntsville is going to be one of the places that we're going to have to watch for today for seeing some of that severe weather moving through. And we're talking about hail damaging winds as well as some isolated tornadoes. Some of the other spots we have our eye on is right here in that red shaded area. That includes Texarkana, Little Rock, Greenville, Tupelo, as well as uh, those of you to the north and east of there. If you're in that magenta color area, including Cincinnati, Louisville, London, Paducah, Kentucky, and even uh, Columbus, Georgia, you still need to be on alert. We could get one of those rogue thunderstorms that could produce uh, some severe weather out of this, but tomorrow is mainly going to be the main event here. I mean, anytime you start to see these pinks that are popping up here on the uh, storm prediction outlook here, that is a big concern for us. That means we are very confident that we could see some severe weather move through here. Again, we're talking about isolated tornadoes. We're talking about damaging winds, and yes, we could even see a decent amount of hail out of this. Memphis as well as Nashville needs to be on alert as well. Beaumont, Texas, and those of you even in Houston for tomorrow need to be on alert here as well. Let's take a look right now at the future track, and once this front ends up pushing through here, you're going to end up seeing some significant rain out of this move through here. For today, this is going to be impacting your evening commute. For those of you in Little Rock as well as Memphis, even those of you in Middle Tennessee, but it's going to be tomorrow that the bigger event is going to end up happening here. And take a look by tomorrow afternoon. Look at this line. It is going to be downright messy as well as dangerous uh, for those of you in Oklahoma City as well as Dallas. This is going to continue to push eastward in the places like Little Rock as well as Memphis here. Britta, you know, part of the reason why a lot of this is happening has to do with what we're seeing in the upper levels. I mean, we have a huge dip there in the jet stream, and that's what's going to be fueling what we're going to be seeing on radar tomorrow. Yeah, and helping push all of this mess from west to east. But again, it's that upper level support that really supports these taller thunderstorms which can lead to extreme weather, including tornadoes. Uh, the setup puts everything in line right on top of Texas and Arkansas, Louisiana. So that's why the outlook is posed right over those areas. Huge surge of Gulf moisture ahead of this front. So you've been feeling how humid it is across southeast Texas and Louisiana. This cold front's going to ram right into that warm air and push it way up into the atmosphere, allowing for these very tall vertical thunderstorms to develop. Well, as they start to move up and develop vertically, well, they're going to encounter some very strong winds that are moving in from a totally different direction. We have a set of for wind shear. So down at the bottom where all of us live and walk every day, our winds are coming in from the south. That's why it is so warm, muggy. The winds are fairly calm right now. But as you go up in the atmosphere, they are blaring out of the southwest. And so some of these thunderstorms will be able to grow up to that level, which thus makes it start to rotate. And that does produce a very strong uh, environment for tornadoes, Jason. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about some of these hazards and way where they are going to be impacted. So again, we're talking Talking about EF2 or stronger tornadoes for places like Shreveport, Jackson, as well as those of you uh, in towards the uh, eastern side of uh, Mississippi here. And then we're going to see the damaging wind threat really go up, uh, not only for today, for places like Greenville as well as Little Rock, but eventually this is going to end up shifting eastward. Right up. And this severe weather threat also comes with a flood threat. So let's take a look at parts of the Mississippi Valley. Unfortunately, a very likely setup for flooding. You're taking a live look at Little Rock, which is kind of in the heart of the area that we're concerned about. You can see the moisture on the lens this morning. So it, it, we're waking up with overcast skies, 61 degrees, some light rain showers. This morning, I would grab your umbrella so you're prepared for these rain showers. But again, it's going to be later today and then the second round tomorrow that really poses the threat when it comes to flooding. Very likely setup for Arkansas. We're also concerned about southern portions of Missouri and also eastern portions of Oklahoma. Uh, the issue here is that we just have so much moisture in place. It's surging in from the Gulf of Mexico. We have a series of fronts moving through, but they're focusing on the same areas. And so we're going to get a training effect that sets up over central Arkansas, which means the same areas are going to get hit time after time again. And that leads to that flooding concern. Jason, this is all happening over an area that has had a lot of rain. I mean, we were tracking flash flood warnings across parts of Arkansas, you know, end of last week. Yeah. Yeah, and we're only talking about, you know, possibly seeing upwards of five inches of rain mm -hmm. right across the portions of Tennessee as well as Kentucky and even uh, some of you in Little Rock. And let's take a look right now at the soil moisture here because unfortunately, because we're seeing such significant rain uh, out of this, I mean, places like Little Rock as well as Hot Springs, <coughs> I mean, it's still fairly wet. And whenever you talk about potentially seeing anywhere from another inch to two inches of rain, that, that means we could end up seeing some additional flooding. 
I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.